welcome students once again now today we will be discussing chapter 2 of your company accounts book that is issue and redemption of debenture what are we going to study in this chapter is first of all we will be understanding the meaning of debentures and what is the difference between shares and debentures what are the types of debenture how do we issue the debentures at par premium discount and how do we issue debenture for consideration other than cash and what do you mean by debenture issue as collateral security as well as there are some terms of issue of debentures and then we will follow it with redemption in the next class. So, let us start with the first point what do you mean by debentures? Debenture is an acknowledgement of a debt given under the common seal of the company specifying the date of repayment of interest as well as principal. So, it is an acknowledgement given by the company that they have taken the money and they will be repaying it at what interest percentage and when they will be paying the principal amount. So, what are the features of debenture? I think if we are clear with the definition only then we can understand the features. The features are acknowledgement of debt, common seal, time for repayment, rate of interest is fixed, it is a long term borrowing and it is generally secured. So, the debentures are generally secured. So, very important distinction between shares and debenture. Shareholders are the owner whereas, debenture holders are. If we see about the risk point in shares the risk is more whereas, in debenture there is almost no risk because you are assured about the interest payment whatever may be the case. And if we see the point of return like dividends is paid to the shareholder only if there is a profit whereas, to debenture holder we pay the interest there may be profit may not be profit and voting rights shareholders have voting rights debenture holders have no voting rights because they are creditors. Repayment shareholders are normally never paid during the lifetime of the company whereas, debenture had to be paid after a particular period of time and that is fixed. Can we issue share at discount? There are some legal restrictions, but there are no such restriction in case of debentures. Are they convertible? Shares are not convertible, but debentures are convertible into shares. Whether the shares are secured? No way, they are not secured, but debentures as I already told you they are generally secured. What are the various types of debentures? If we see from security point of view, the debentures can be secured or unsecured. They are secured when there is a fixed or floating charge on that and unsecured when there is no security. Now, fixed charge means when a particular asset is secured for that and floating charge means on all the assets of the company. Right. Next topic, if we see from the redemption point of view, debentures which are to be repaid are called redeemable and which are not repayable are called irredeemable. If we see from record point of view, there can be registered debentures and there can be bearer debentures. Registered debentures are those debentures where name, address and all other particulars are there in the register of debenture whereas, bearer debenture are those debenture where there are no records. They are just transferable by mere delivery. Whosoever is having that debenture is the owner of that debenture. Another viewpoint can be from convertibility point of view. If the debentures are convertible into shares, they are called convertible shares and if they are not convertible, simply they are called non-convertible. And one more point can be there from priority point of view, those debenture who are to be paid first are called first debenture and those who are to be paid after the first naturally they are called second debentures. So, there can be first debentures which are paid first, second debenture who are paid 
afterwards. Now, how do we issue the debentures for cash? There can be again three cases at par, at premium or at discount. All the entries are same just like we have done in the shares chapter. Just what you have to do is instead of equity share just put the word debenture. So, there is no need of doing the entries again. Just for an example, we can say suppose bank account debit to debenture application, debenture application debit to debenture not capital because debenture is not capital. Okay. So, like this you can do all the entries. When we issue the debenture for consideration other than cash, it means we are purchasing something else instead of cash and we are issuing the debentures. Suppose we are purchasing the asset, the entry will be asset account debit to vendor and the next entry will be vendor account debit to debentures if we are issuing it at par and if we are issuing at discount it will be debited and if we are issuing at premium it will be credited. Very simple just like shares discount is debited premium is credited. Another case can be if we are purchasing a particular business in that case we are taking assets as well as liabilities also. So, the entry will be sundry assets account debit to sundry liabilities and to vendor company with the purchase consideration part. Now, suppose in this entry we are getting some difference if debit or credit difference is there how it is possible. Let us take an example if we are purchasing assets of 1 lakh and liabilities of 20,000 then what we have to pay is 80,000 and suppose we are paying 90,000. So, I am paying more when I am paying more to that company that means it is goodwill and when I am paying less to that company it will be my profit that is capital reserve. So, can I say if the difference comes in the debit side it goes to goodwill account and if the difference comes to the credit side it becomes capital reserve. Okay. And the next entry will be when we are issuing debentures to the vendor same vendor account debit to debentures and discount debit premium credit the same point. Let us understand this by an example a company purchased a running business with assets of 10 lakh and liabilities of 2 lakh from Raja and company for a consideration of 8 lakh 75 thousand and issued debentures to Raja and company. The first entry will be sundry asset debit 10 lakh to sundry liabilities 2 lakh and to Raja and company 8 lakh 75 thousand. Now, the difference 75 thousand on the debit side will go to goodwill account and that is the balancing figure and when we issue debentures to them the entry will be Raja and company debit 8 lakh 75 thousand to debentures 8 lakh 75 thousand being debentures issued. Please remember narrations are very important and you have to write them with all entries. Another topic is issue of debenture as collateral security. First of all let us understand the meaning of collateral security. Collateral security means secondary security that is in addition to the principal security we are giving in writing that we have taken the loan. So, it is something additional secondary security right. Now, it is activated only when the principal security fails to meet the loan liability. Suppose, I have given land and building paper for a loan. If I am not able to pay the loan, land and building will be sold off and my loan will be repaid. Now, suppose that is not enough, only then the debentures issued as collateral security will be activated and that party can claim on account of debentures. Fine. Now, they are to be returned to the company as soon as the loan is repaid and please remember no interest will be paid on these debentures because these are not actual debentures, these are just 
a secondary security and not actual security. Now, there are two methods of recording issue of debenture as collateral security in the books of accounts. When no journal entry is to be done for issue of debenture as collateral security, but this fact has to be disclosed in the balance sheet below the loan figure. Now, let us understand what it means by an example. Suppose a company took a bank loan of rupees 10 lakh and issued rupees 15 lakh debenture as collateral security. The first entry will be for the bank loan, bank account debit to bank loan 10 lakh rupees and in the balance sheet it will appear like this. On the liability side we will be showing bank loan 10 lakh on the asset side will be showing bank account 10 lakh, but below that bank loan we will be showing secured by rupees 15 lakh debenture as collateral security. Right? So, we have mentioned the fact and we have not done any entry. In the next method number 2, when some journal entry has to be made for issue as collateral security. Assuming the same question that is 10 lakh loan and 15 lakh security. Let us start with the entry. Entry number 1 will be the same bank account debit to bank loan 10 lakh, but in the next entry when we have to show that we have issued debentures. I hope you know when you issue debenture, debentures is credited. So, 2 debentures will be there 15 lakh, but you cannot debit bank account because money is not flowing in. So, what you will do? it is debenture suspense account debit to debenture, because these debentures are not actual debentures. So, we have to put them in a suspense account debenture suspense account, this is the name given to them. So, entry will be debenture suspense account debit 15 lakh to debentures account. The position in the balance sheet will be like this, debenture will be shown on the liability side and debenture suspense on the asset side as that miscellaneous expenditure point. Let us examine what entries are to be done in case of issue of debenture. Let us see various cases of issue of debentures with redemption point in our mind. The first point can be issued at par redeemable at par. Suppose a debenture is of rupees 100, we are issuing at par and redeeming at 100. So, what will be the entry in that case? First of all, I will tell you all the cases, what are the possible cases. Second case can be issued at discount redeemable at par, that is 90 issued and redeemable at 100. Third case can be issued at premium and redeemable at par. Another case can be issued at par 100 rupees and redeemable at premium and another case can be issued at discount 90 rupees and redeemable at premium 105 let us say and one more case can be there issued at premium 105 and again redeemable at premium 120 and there is one very interesting case issued at par 100 rupees and redeemable at discount 90 rupees. Now, we have to see all these things in detail which we will be doing in the next class, but with one point to remember that we have to take all possible losses into account, but never take profit into account. Now, this concept we are going to deal in the next class. So, what we have done today is we have done entries of debentures they are cases of discount, premium and collateral security etcetera. In the next class, we are going to do journal entries on all the cases of issue at something and redeemable at something, the case which we have started just now. So, till then goodbye, thank you very much.